Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I'm here with another reading for you. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Thank you so much for clicking on to this message. If you are here, I believe you are divinely guided or led to click on this uh, message today because there is something powerful for you to get from the divine to hear from spirit today so i hope you're doing well if this is your first time i welcome you and if you're a returning subscriber i thank you so very much for your love for your support it is greatly appreciated oops so too many so let's hear from spirit Spirit, what do you have for us today? Happy holidays, season greetings, Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate this season as well. Spirit, what do you have for us? Come through, Spirit. What do you have for us? Okay. Let's see it flipped over. Trust the guidance you are receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. Wow. I said if you clicked on to this message, this video. The divine definitely has a word for you today. Trust the guidance that you're receiving from the divine. The divine gave you a brilliant idea, Scorpio. And they want you to trust it. Also, Spirit is saying, I'm also present to clear away your worries. So some of you may be worrying at this time. So you can trust your divine guidance, trust your intuition that spirit is guiding you. And remember where spirit guides, where God guides, God provides, okay? So you can trust it. 35, three plus five is eight. That is infinite, infinite, or that's an infinity sign there. That means it's an end in abundance that is coming. Spirit wants you to increase your knowledge. So is it that the guidance that, that you're getting? Is it nudging you that maybe you need to do some research? You need to study. You need to take a course, a training. Maybe some of you, you will need to, like I said, take up a course, pick up a book, or find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. So Spirit is telling you to go do some research. You know, some of you may need to, if you're shy of certain technology, you know, to, you know, get a basic computer training class, you know. But whatever Spirit is guiding you towards, Spirit is saying, you can trust it, but you just need to put some time into it. Increase your knowledge. Open up to your spiritual gifts. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. So yes, we are spiritual and spirit wants you to open up to spirituality. You know, if you believe in, in God, you know, the Bible says that God is a spirit and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So you need to open up to the divine. You can't be scared of, of who you are. Your true nature is spiritual. So some of you, maybe you're guided to go into the spiritual community, to be a healer, a light worker, to teach, to preach, to minister other people, to be a mentor. 
Spirit is saying that you should trust. This is your path. Trust. This is what's ahead for you. That's that's wonderful. So Spirit wants you to not be afraid. At the back of the deck, it says the way forward is open. And it says joy. Again, we are in the season, you know, of Christmas. For those of you who celebrate joy to the world, the Lord is come. So Spirit is saying, and this is three plus two is five. That is change as well. So some of you, you may be changing your career. You're going to be changing your perspective. The way you look at life, the way you look at things, the way forward is open. You're not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. Trust, you trust the guidance you're receiving. Spirit wants to guide you out of whatever situation. Spirit is saying you're not trapped. You may think, you know, there is not enough money coming in. I don't know what else to do. Spirit is saying that there are endless opportunities around you. And Spirit, if you allow, will guide you to your personal and spiritual freedom. Increase your knowledge, Spirit. Please clarify, increase your knowledge. Wow. Embrace your life purpose. I am guiding you. Again, a lot of guidance here. I am guiding you toward your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. And we see the card here, joy. Whatever brings you joy you have peace. It's not stressful to you. Spirit is saying is what you were meant to be doing. The way forward is open. You see, this is this is a map from X. You you are here. So Spirit is saying you are here now, and this is where the journey is gonna take you. Joy and what gives you joy is you living in your divine. Living and fulfilling your divine life purpose, Scorpio. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit wants you to increase your knowledge. Read more. Some of you, you're going to be writing books. I see her there with the feather. You know, it's like the pen and the, the, the book. I see the transformation. So you're getting downloads from Spirit to write this. And even writing, she's smiling because this is what you were meant to do. At the back of the deck, Spirit says to get your power back. You have forgotten who you are. You are a child of the divine. So take back your power. Take back your power. Wow. Don't fall asleep on yourself. Open up to your spiritual gifts, Spirit, please clarify. You cannot run from who you are. Spirit is saying to clarify, open up to your spirit gift. Pray from the heart. And number five, again, change. Prayer really can move mountains. Reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. Open up, accept the divine, Scorpio. Pray from your heart. You know, we are asked to go into our prayer closet. We are, we are, when we, we can open up, we can be our true self. Because sometimes praying in the world or among other people, we try to put on a show. Some of us, even if you go to church, you don't even feel comfortable praying in a wholesome way, in a heartfelt way, passionate way, because you don't want others to hear 
your desires or you know your 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 needs and spirit is saying to pray believe in the power of prayer because prayer can really can move mountains that is our way of communicating with god reach out it says to the divine with your heart's concern and watch miracles unfold at the back of the deck it says have no fear fear is a trap of the ego allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back so see this is why some of you may you know finds it hard to even pray from the heart because you're fearful you're doubting and it's a fear is a trap of the ego ego is just a part of us that you know identify us ego edging god out so we are not standing in 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 in, in our spiritual power we are thinking oh i have to do this this is of me you know you don't want to open up completely to the divine you know it's it's so sometimes it's it's so um crazy how things have to happen in our life that's very serious that gets us on our knees you know where we can really stop we have to stop and cry out you don't care if you do that ugly cry everything mixing up snot and tears at the same time because you are in a season or a mode or a time of desperation but see sometimes we can avoid that you know if we just go ahead and do it it's time to play you're working too hard and worrying about everything seek out joyous experiences to bring balance in your life it's time to play let your hair down again joy again when we do the things we enjoy we get joy as well some of us are really working hard you know it's the season some of you are working overtime you know doing extra hours or whatever it is but spirit is saying you know play too much work and no play makes jack a dull boy you know so spirit wants us to have that balance in our life okay the way forward is open so we can be open we don't have to be so uptight because we know that whatever it is that is happening in our life god will work it out the divine will work it out that's the faith that you must have that the divine the divine has you spirit wants us to prioritize self-care and another card fell out as well prioritize self-care see this is all time to play spirit is saying you do so much for others it's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you you know put some of this love back into you put yourself first again take care of yourself love on yourself do something for yourself that is good that will bring you fulfillment it doesn't have to be lavish you know even a quiet time enjoy a cup of your favorite beverage hot beverage whatever it is you know just soak up the moment feel the love spirit is saying give yourself maybe this this holiday season you know give love to yourself on this christmas day you know the song said give love on christmas day give yourself some love this season scorpio and this card says change is coming i am here to guide you through this exciting transformation this is a time of joyous opportunities again joy i believe a lot of you even before the year is done 
you're going to get this. You're going to feel this. This transformation, this reminds me of us. See all the butterflies. A lot of you, your features are changing. You're changing your mind. You're changing your outlook. You're playing again. You're feeling again. You're living again. Color is coming back into your life again. This is transformation. Change is coming. Change is on the way. A lot of you, you can feel it. The refreshment. There's a shift in the atmosphere. A shift in the energy around your Scorpio. Just open up and allow the divine. Because he who, he who has begun a good work in you will see it to the end. Whatever the divine starts, the divine finishes. And I see a lot of, a lot of joy over these cards. And Spirit is saying, stay the course. Don't panic. You're not on the wrong path. You're just having a bumpy start. Learn from your experiences and keep going. Trust the guidance you're receiving. The way forward is open. Embrace your life purpose. A lot of you, you're coming to the realization of who you are. You're taking your power back. You're putting it in the rightful place. You're loving on yourself. You're open to spirituality. This is not about religion. Because sometimes if it's just us being religious, we don't come, a lot of religious people, they don't walk into their purpose. Because whenever they worship Saturday or Sunday, they go and they just want somebody else to pour into them. But when you embrace your true self, you are, you're, you, you are not a religious person. It's a relationship with the divine. You accept that you are, you are a spiritual being. And so you connect. Because as I said before, God is a spirit. And so if you're going to worship him, if you're going to pray from the heart, you have to do it in the spirit. Because everything is done in the spiritual atmosphere, whether it's warfare, all of our blessings, everything we have to, God is a spirit. We have to come into connection with that flow where we're getting that divine download, everything in the spirit. So now you are one with yourself. You are one with the divine. Your trust is not in man, but it's in God. It's in the divine. So this is why a lot of people will say, I'm a spiritual person. They're not a religious person. Because now they come to know the power, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead, it's in you. So now you know that you have the same authorities given to you to manifest, to create. And so this is why you are no longer in tradition. You break out of the mold. You're embracing your life purpose now. You know that change is coming. Some of you can feel it. Some of you are a little bit more relaxed now. You feel like you can let your hair down. Even though you may feel you're so used to working and keeping going, it's like you feel as if you're doing something wrong. But Spirit is saying you work hard enough. You do so much for other people. Put something back into yourself. Play. Go lay down. Take some rest. Let Spirit do the worrying. Go to sleep. I'm already up. All your needs have already provided. They're taken care of, Scorpio. I don't care what your situation looks like right now. But Spirit is saying, pray from your heart. Go by yourself. Tell divine about it. What is it that your heart desire? What is it that breaks your heart? How do you feel? What do you want the divine to do for you right now? Crystal, some of you may need to work with crystals. It's a channel for healing energy. 
music, your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. You know, relax, go play some music, books. You connect to your life purposes through your involvement with books. Again, oh my, like it says right here, embrace your life purpose. She's writing a book. For a lot of you, your purpose will be connected to books. Writing books. Some of you need to go read books. Some of you will be going back to school. Whatever it is has something to do with books. Oh, travel. For some of you, your life purpose involves traveling as well. Working with flowers. Some of you may need to give yourself the gift of flowers. Working with flowers open your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. Scorpio, this is beautiful. This is wonderful for you. I love this. If this message resonates with you, please give the videos a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please, I'm asking you to do so. And please leave a comment. It is greatly appreciated. Until next time, thank you.